Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mr. Cool with Love 11. I'm back with the truth, bringing dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave it not for someone else. Stop reading now for me. Okay, guys, I'm going to jump into this. I heard, we're going to see what this is, but uh, I heard they're paying for what they've done to you. Your person could be going to jail. Your your karmic person could be going to jail or they're receiving the karma, okay? But they're paying for what they've done to you. We're going to dig into this. Holy Spirit, it just isn't the highest light and the most high. Please let me to act right in. What's going on with the collective? What's going on with this person? What they did wrong to, this for, to the collective? What they did wrong to the collective? What's going on? Don't believe any word that this person has said, said said to you, okay, this karmic, this this person that you're in a relationship with or friends with or whatever, don't believe anything they said because they're a liar, okay, they're a liar, they are receiving some kind of karma, okay, someone could be, yeah, justice has been served, the karma wheel has turned in your favor, okay, they're going to pay back, they're paying back for what they've done to you, okay, they are. You just got to be patient and allow things to unfold naturally, okay? Don't force anything I'm hearing. Do not force anything. Everything will work out in your favor, okay? Like I said, everything will work out in your favor. The karma wheel has turned. They are receiving their bad karma. The universe is sending you messages. Synchronicity is repeating numbers 222-1111-333. All that spell work backfired. That setup backfired. Lying on you, backfired, stealing from you, backfired at all. It's all coming back on that person. It's time to stop procrastinating and start that new idea. Handle your business, okay? Okay, stop worrying about this, okay, collective? If this, if you've been worrying about like some what their their karma is going to be or what's going to happen to them, stop worrying about that. Do what you need to do for you, okay? Do what you need to do for you. Don't worry about the karmic. Don't worry about your person. Don't worry about what's going on with them, okay? They're receiving it. You may not see it right now, but they are receiving something, okay? Some form of karma, negative karma. Allow God or the higher power, divine universe, do what it needs to do to them, okay? And you work on yourself. Do what you need to do. Someone has good intentions towards you. Happy thoughts. See, somebody else has good intentions for you. Happy thoughts, okay? Somebody does have good intentions for you. This person's going to pass away for interfering in your affairs, okay? So that's how the, that, that's their karma right there. They're going to pass away because they were interfering in your fears. They're trying to stop you, block you. Now this person's going to end up passing away because of it. Okay? They shouldn't have done it. What else, Spirit? What else is going on here? What else, Spirit? You've been wanting this to happen. It's going to happen. Okay, it's going to. This person has a hidden angel sent from above. You're an earth angel. Okay? And you also have another hidden angel. You have angels with you at all times. Been protecting you, keeping you safe. Okay? Not allowing anything. Obstacles can't keep you from what God has ordained for you. That's why Spirit wants you to stop worrying about your karmic. Stop worrying about these people, person, whatever. Stop worrying about them because God has something ordained for you. You are meant to be something. Do something. You, If God has ordained, they can't change it. They can't take it from you. Okay? There are spiritual animals watching over you. Birds, crows. Okay, I do know I talk fast. I just heard somebody say, so slow down. I talk fast. Um, go to the top right-hand corner of the settings, and you can slow it down to 0.75. Okay? Justice will be served in your cake, court case. Okay, so you, this person's been in spiritual jail. Spiritual court. Okay, this is spiritual court. This person's been in spiritual court. And you're going to win your case. Justice will be served in a court case. You're going to win. Okay? Don't let this person get you. Because I'm hearing that, like, you may be too worried or thinking about the other person or this karmic, what's going on in their life, what is their karma, what's happening in their life. And by you doing that is causing a, what's the word? Uh, it's like, not resentment, but causing it so it doesn't, like, so you're, like, in standstill. So you're not receiving anything. So nothing's coming for you, okay? Because you're worried about them when you need to be worried about you and just do what you need to do. Um, resistance, okay? You're resisting. When when you're so worried about the karmic or your person, what karma they have going through, whatever's happening to them, you're resisting your change. You're resisting what God has ordained for you. So Spirit is saying, surrender, let that go. They're receiving it, okay? They're receiving it, okay? A lot of it I'm hearing is could be spiritually receiving it, okay? Mentally receiving it. Um, and that person can end up passing away, okay, 
for interfering in your affairs, passing away, or end up in jail, or losing everything as well, while you are being successful and succeeding and growing and healing. And it's not about you receiving some kind of money or anything like that. It's about you actually able to heal and grow and expand your consciousness and to move forward and to go into this new timeline, into this new earth, so you're not sitting back in, in standstill and with these karmics and not seeing receiving your abundance not receiving your blessings abundance doesn't mean money you guys abundance means a lot of something okay it could be abundance of health it could be abundance of spiritual knowledge wisdom it could be abundance of money okay it could be abundance of you know just having a lot of something okay and that's what i'm hearing is if you're worried about this person it's just it's it's blocking you okay it's it's we always, like, there's readings out there saying, okay, the karmics are blocking us, but it also can be ourselves blocking us because we're holding on to them. We're, we're resisting. So we're causing the own blockage in our own life. Okay? They are sneaky. Okay, this person is sneaky. Something about intent to kill you. Okay? Just, you're protected. Just protect, you're protected, okay? Don't worry about them. Don't, don't worry about them, Okay? And I know, I know you guys, some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, how can you say that? How can you say it? Because I was in your shoes at one point. Okay. I, I, I experienced it. I was blocking myself. I was resent, I was um, resisting what my change was because I was so worried about what the hell was going to happen to the damn karmics that did me wrong. Okay. All the karmics that did me wrong and all the people that hurt me, my family, friends, coworkers, whatever it was that hurt me. I was so worried about what was going to happen in their life. Is, is their life falling apart? Are they going to jail? Are someone going to pass away? When I was worried about it, I was blocking myself. I was resisting my change. I was resisting my healing, my growth, what God had ordained for me. Once I surrendered and I let go is when my chain, my life changed. And I started to see my blessings. I started to see my abundance. I started to see my abundance of wealth and health and knowledge. Okay, so you just have to, you have to surrender, let go. And yes, it's difficult, it's hard. And you may have to, you know, like this is why stop, Spirit's saying stop procrastinating. You may have to get busy with something, okay? Do something fun. I went into making candles and my crystal bracelets and doing tarot. That's not for everyone. But for me to stop worrying about the karmics and what my family did to me, my, my so-called friends, so-called friends, ex-boyfriends, all that stuff did to me. I was so worried about that for a while after I had Cherish. So worried that... Spirit's like, you keep worrying, you're blocking yourself, you're resisting the change. And so Spirit's like, and my ancestor Spirit's an angel to show me, do something. Like I said, I first thing I was making, I don't know if it was my can. I think I made my candles first, you guys. I made my candles first. Okay, I was making my candles first. That took me a lot of, that was a lot of process, okay? Then I started making bracelets for my, clear my chakras, okay? I wanted to protect myself. I wanted to protect myself from negativity and evil and stuff and from the karmics. So I started making my, all my bracelets, Okay, my bracelets, and then I, then I went to anklets, then I went to earrings, and necklaces, you know, I started creating things, I started making my sprays, my Evil Be Gone sprays, you know, this is my oil, my sprays Evil Be Gone to clear out the energy, because I was using Sage, Palo Santo, I started, you know, creating things, keeping myself busy, I started exercising, walking outside, listening to meditation music, I was listening to a lot of tarot, I will say that, I was listening to a lot of tarot, I was probably listening to tarot probably at least six to eight hours a day. When I was walking, exercising, I was listening to it before I started recording it. When I was making my bracelets, when I was creating candles, I was listening to tarot. Like what you guys are doing right now, you know, you're being guided. That was my, part of my path at that time. Okay, part of my journey at that time was to listen to tarot. Okay, um, for guidance and stuff like that. Then I started creating everything else. I started creating bath salts. I started creating body butters, uh, sugar scrubs, um, oils. Okay, I just started creating all this stuff. And I had more ideas. I made my spiritual boxes. That was what I actually want to make my spiritual boxes at first. Um, I stopped procrastinating. And when I when I started staying busy with that stuff, doing it with love, and I started doing rituals, okay? Meditation, praying, um, lighting candles, moon water, um, taking care of my body, just all this extra stuff that I did. And I kept myself busy and wasn't thinking about the karmic, what was happening to them. I started seeing the change in my life. I started losing weight, okay? I lost almost 20 pounds because of it. I gained some, I've gained it back, you guys. I've gained a lot of it back. Um, I went into, now I'm like plateaued. Like, I gained it back. And now I'm like plateau. I can't lose it. I can't gain. I'm not gaining. I'm not losing it. Um, I'm not walking as much as I used to because it's cold right now. But, and then Cherish don't let me walk as far as I used to. And then Cherish kept me busy. So I kept myself busy with things too that were making me happy. Okay. That were helping me. That was raising my vibration frequency. And 
literally, I just, it just stopped thinking about the karmics. I stopped thinking about the people that did me wrong. Every once in a while, I'll be honest with you guys, it popped back in, in my head. Did that person go to jail? How's that person doing now? That person that gang stalked me, gaslighted me, bullied me, manipulated me. I'm like, is she still doing drugs? Does she still have her kid? Has she went to jail? Has she went to the psych ward? Has she lost her, lost everything, her home? You know, I that does still pop in, okay? Every once in a while, it's like, okay, question, like, okay, did it? And it's just like, stop worrying about it. Don't worry about her. Don't worry about them. Worry about you, okay? So I do know what it feels like, okay? I, I When I put these messages out, I'm giving these messages, but I can relate to things too, and I do know what it feels like. Okay, and it does sneak back in, and that could be why they are sneaky. That why that sneaky card came back in. The devil will try to sneak back in, try to you know throw you off your game, try to lower your vibration frequency, and that's what what Satan does. Okay, I'll be in a really really good funk, doing everything well, everything's going well, and then all of a sudden like this thing comes in my head, be like, oh my god, I want to know what they're doing. I hope they lost everything, and then like I have to snap back out of it. Okay, I'm like Satan, you're not gonna win. I'm stronger than that. I'm stronger than the enemy. No weapon form against me shall prosper. That's why I started saying when I hear those things and I say I call back my power, take back my power and energy. When I start hearing those things is when I get back and uh, get out of that, that low frequency vibration and get Satan out of my head. Because Satan will try to sneak back in, okay? And the most high is protecting me, God, okay? So, again, just wanting to let you guys know that I know I'm, I'm saying this and you, some of you guys are probably like, well, you don't know what I went through. You haven't experienced this. You weren't raped. You weren't stolen from. Yeah, I was stolen from. And yes, I was raped. I was molested as well. I was in a serious car accident, which nearly killed me. I was, I, I, I had a near-death like experience. I believe I died for a second and came back. Okay, I do. I seen the other side. And then I was paralyzed. You guys, I was literally paralyzed. I could not walk. When the paramedics came, the, the helicopter came, I, I could not walk. I was paralyzed. They did do a 13, it was supposed to be a 13-hour surgery. It was going to be an 8-hour surgery. My organs were shut down. They were getting ready to feed me. So I do know what it's like. I know what it's like to be stolen from, lose everything, not have a home, live in a car, live at a friend's house, live under a bridge. I lived under a bridge one night, you guys. I stayed on the streets, okay? I, I didn't have a home for a moment, okay? I've experienced things. I know what it's like. There's some things I, I, I can't say I experienced everything, no. But, um, yeah, see, they're going, they have a mental disorder, okay? This person may have a mental disorder now because of what they've done to you, Okay? They're receiving this karma. Aries. You're not alone. Okay, you're not alone. You get some tarot readers out here that have never experienced that stuff. You do. You get tarot readers that have never been raped. Never been stolen from. Never been a drug addict. Homeless. With nothing. I, I grew up in poverty. I grew up getting kicked out of my house all the time because my dad was picking his wives over, his wives over me. I was being abandoned. My mom beat the fuck out of me. My mom was an alcoholic until I turned 16 and then she got clean and sober and then we just kind of started growing co closer together. But she was still a karmic. So I know what it's like. And then my mom died from cancer freaking almost a year and a half ago from battling for nine years. And I, I will tell you that I do know that she got cancer from heart, probably karma. Okay? She interfered. She wasn't abiding by God. And to be honest, God took her life. Took her house. And I still I still love my mom. I'm not saying that. I love my mom to death. She was karmic. But I, I would, if I could have my mom back still, yes, I would still have her back. Even if she did me wrong, hurt me. I'd still want her back here right now. But I do know that why her health went deteriorated and declined very fast is because of the things that she did. And she didn't believe in God the most high. She was worshiping. The, she didn't worship the day of Satan. Like she didn't literally worship, like do spell work and stuff like that. Like, like do magic, like witchcraft stuff. But she was negative. Thinking ill. Wishing ill, jealous, envy, hateful. She was a love in spirit. Self-pity. She stole from people. She did so many things. And it just, it, karma came back and bite her in the ass. And that's one thing I do understand and I do know. And I'm trying to change that with my life. Okay? I still love my mom to death. Even though all the things she did, I still love her to death. I still love her to death. And I'm not like, you know what I mean? Like, and, you know, some people are saying, why are you talking ill of the death? My mom wants me to talk about this stuff. Okay? My mom is with me. And she knows I love her. And I know before she died, even though she didn't show the love that I that I wanted from her, I know she still loved me. Because there was times that she did protect me. She did. She was there for me. Towards the end, she was there for me. She did a lot of things for me. And then, like, I treated her like shit, too. And I treated her like shit, too. So, you know, but I'm trying to learn from that. 
And my mom, one thing is my mom couldn't heal herself. My mom couldn't heal herself. She had too much trauma, too much baggage, too much stuff that she, she didn't know how to heal. She didn't know how to, my mom couldn't take accountability for things. And that's why I'm hearing about this person. This person may not take accountability for things. Okay. So that's why if they're interfering in your affairs, they're going to pass away. They can't take accountability. This person that did you wrong and does not want to take accountability. I had to take accountability. When you start taking accountability, 15, 15 on the clock, when you start taking accountability for your actions, you will start seeing a change. Okay. Aligning your chakras. See, you're lining your chakras. Wow, this is just, you know what I mean? Initials, can we see? They have no soul. Oh, gosh. Mom. Crazy. My mom's coming through, okay? Uh, someone's mom could be coming through, too, as well. Intent to kill. I said this person had intent to kill. So that could be why they are interfering in your life. They're going to end up passing away from their affairs. This person could be bisexual. You could be bisexual. No judgment. You guys, no judgment. Okay. Return to sender. Yeah, see, you're returning to sender. Thank you, spirit. Again, this is my deck for my soul sister, you guys. I absolutely love it. Love, love this deck. I've been using it nonstop. Start with someone new. Okay, it's time to start with someone new. Okay, or start something new. Okay, if it's not someone, start, start something new, okay? They're scared. Okay, see, that's the thing. They're scared. They are scared what they've done to you. It's just you don't know that. You may feel it, but you're not seeing it, but they are. They're scared, okay? We have Pisces. Could be a Pisces. One more, please. One more, please. Thank you. Okay, somebody you need to trust, okay? This could be just trusting yourself, trusting your spirit guides, trusting angel, trust God. Okay, you, or you trusted them. We have a sage, a sage. Okay, Sag. Okay, Sag stairs coming out to you. Or you trusted them. This person may have brought, broke your trust as well, I'm hearing, okay? Masquerade, they were lying. Disguise. Un, untruthful friends. Causing problems in your life. Okay? Confusion, insecurity, causing you to be insecure about yourself. Abusive. Person was abusive. Causing conflicts in your life. They're having problems now, too, okay? That's why. They're having problems, too, because of who they were hiding, what they were doing. They are having problems. Having several problems, okay? I'm pulling five cards, it looks like, this time. So, something about five could be significant to somebody. Love cycles. Okay, understanding. Okay, you're starting to understand something, too. It could be understanding the dark and light, positive and negative. Duality, yin and yang. Child, innocence. Fresh start. You're getting a new fresh start, Okay. You're having this new fresh start. What else, Barrett? What else? Thank you. You can have whatever you like. King and Queen of... Pentacles, let me be let me be your provider. Somebody wants to come in, okay? So that's why this other person's getting karma, interfering in your affairs. Just surrender, let go of it, okay? Don't don't worry about them, okay? Because somebody else wants to come in and be a provider for you. It's your time, okay? Take time for yourself. Wow, see me time. I choose me. It's time to choose yourself, okay? Hermit mode, self indulgence, becoming a loner, self appreciation, self care, self love, self worth. Okay, take care of yourself. Okay, like I said. Heal. Grow. Somebody's in regret. You could be in regret too. Let go of regret. Regret is a low vibration frequency. Sexual demons. This person was a sexual demon. Succubus, incubus, jasmine spirit. I slept with the wrong spirit. You could have slept with the wrong spirit. Okay, we make mistakes. I slept with many long, wrong spirits. I slept with many unclean spirits. Okay, I had to clear that energy away. I had to let go of that energy. I had to clear it out. I had to go into absence. Celibate for 13, 14 months. Celibate, okay? 14 months. No sex. Nothing. Yeah, there's a little masturbation, but later on, it was like nothing, okay? Like, I cleared my energy, and I wasn't even 
wanting it okay after you clear it you kind of you get with like your higher self you don't need it or want it okay you clear all that sexual attention out money issues this person's having see that's the thing there see that your person this karmic they're having money issues now you just don't know it. You may not see it. Someone could have lost their car. Somebody could have lost their home. Somebody's power could be getting shut off. Water or not paying their bills. Their phone bill could get shut off, okay? They're having money issues, okay? Things are going wrong in their life. House falling apart, you know what I mean? Like, not be able to pay the bills, like, because what they done to you. Betray. They betrayed you. Okay. And you're stopping the pattern. It says stop the pattern, okay? You're trying to stop the pattern. change getting some shocking news okay you can be getting shocking news about this this you can be getting shocking news